Hi everybody. Today we're going to be thinking about the element of line and we're going to do a quick demonstration on how to make a line print. So without any further ado, listen up and pay attention because uh, there's some extra details in there that we would really like you to know. Alright, so we've got all of our supplies ready. All of this stuff should be handed to you off of the cart. We have our paper, we have our ink, our paper towel, our string, and a bucket of water. Our hands are definitely going to get dirty through this. So first you're going to grab that paper and make sure you have a magazine handy. This is pretty thick and heavy. So lay out your paper so that it is good and ready for you to just grab and easily um, start your print. So we're just going to start by picking up our string. It may be damp on one side, but that's okay. So make sure it's untangled, and you can use your knife for this part, but it is a little bit easier just using your fingers. And you're just going to slowly lay it down on your paper and try and orient the string in a way that will be interesting. The loops really add a really dynamic effect. So try and do that. And wipe your fingers off before you touch your paper so that you don't transfer the ink. Then you'll just press it right on top, and you don't really need to push down hard. And grab your magazine, lay it right on top, and place your hand there so that it's evenly spread out, all the weight is evenly spread out, and pull your string. Set that aside, and reveal what's underneath by flipping your papers. So this is a pretty decent outcome. You've got a lot of detail, It's the ink is very dark, but I think I'm going to try one more time and see if I can get something more interesting. So we'll see what happens. So this paper is slightly different, or maybe it's exactly the same. This paper is slightly different. And I think that this paper will work a little bit better because I've used this paper before. Okay, so I have everything handy. I'm going to go grab a new string because I kind of want to experiment with how things work. And this string, I realized later on when I was doing this that it probably wasn't the best idea to use, and I'll explain why. So I'm going to dip this into the ink and I noticed that there is almost a film on the string that protects it um, but it's not doing any good for us so I ended up saturating the string by pushing it in with my knife and letting it sit just for a second and I made sure to put my knife into the bucket of water so I don't make even more of a mess with this ink. Alright, so going to grab my paper, make sure everything's ready, and begin laying down my string. So immediately I noticed a difference in the string. It is much more stiff. It wasn't as flexible, but it laid down fairly easy in making some fun loops. So always make sure there's a little tail hanging off the edge of your paper so you can grab it. That is absolutely key in doing this. So notice that my thumb is very close to where I'm pulling the string out. That also is very helpful. So uh, the big reveal, and it's slightly, slightly disappointing. So I realized that because the string was brand new, it had a coating of a protectant um, glue or something, and in order for it to really soak up the ink, it should be saturated and cleaned. And so I just ended up reprinting because that ink on this previous print dried so quickly that I can just flip it over and try again with the more saturated string. And if you notice when I'm twirling this, the stiff one, you can tell the difference which one is new and which one is old. So I'm going to resaturate that and you're going to want to re-dip it in your ink pot every time you do a new print. So pull that right up, bring it over to your paper, and lay it down. 
think these swirls would be really cool. Just again, wipe your fingers off before you grab your paper. And I'm going to reprint on the same paper that um, I had that disappointing print. Grab my magazine, make sure my thumb is lined up, even pressure, and pull. So lift it up, separate the paper, and much better. This print actually reminded me of a frog, if you can see that. <laughs> um, and you can try orienting it in a bunch of different ways, but it's really interesting to see how you can change the composition just by turning the page around. So I'm going to show you how we're going to be cleaning up now. So each table is going to have their own tray with all the supplies that you need for this. You will be able to pick your paper from the tray and the tray will include the string, the ink, the water, and the knife. So when you get your tray at your table, you're going to want to carefully put your water and your ink on the tray make sure it does not spill that would be a catastrophe so after you've transferred all those items make sure that your table is ready for the next round of printing and you have your papers prepared so that it will be nice and smooth and that is all for today um, make as many things as many prints as you can and experiment have fun with it we'll be able to make even cooler stuff with these prints on another day.